Yeah, well, a very pleasant good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to the People's Forum of In the Streets with Big Star. Now today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not doing this video for the likes. I don't care if anybody likes this video. I'm doing this video for what's right. Now, in recent time, we heard about this Chinese woman slapping this young Jamaican girl and humiliating her in front of the world, the entire world. And I saw a few vloggers talking about the situation and practically everyone was upset, including Mr. Vegas. Now, Mr. Vegas, this is directed at you, sir. We're talking about what you said and everything that you said before you went to Trelawney. I agree with you. I agree with you and I supported you 150%. I was willing to drive my car all the way from Kingston with you all the way to Trelawney to make sure we close down that store because nothing less than closing down the store would be all right with me as far as I'm concerned. Nothing less than closing down that store would relieve the pain and the suffering that I felt when I saw my sister being slapped in the face by a Chinese national. We know the history of the Chinese. We know what they're capable of doing. We've seen videos of how Chinese treat black people in China. We've seen videos of how they treat black people here in Jamaica. It's not the first. 1918, there was a riot. 1935, there was a riot. And 1965, there was a riot. I'm not saying 2018, there should be a riot. But there should be something done drastically to make sure something like this never, ever happen again. Mr. Vegas, you don't represent me because what you did showed us that we're nothing but a bunch of cowards show us that we don't care really show us that what are we doing this for popularity or publicity or to get our career uh jump started mr vegas what you did was outright humiliating even worse than what the chinese woman did to this poor little girl how could you drive your car all the way to trelawney what happened while you went to trelawney what happened to you? Did you have to change your mind? Did you feel that if you did the right thing in protesting to close down that store, it would affect your career? I don't care nothing about my career when it comes to my people. I don't care about my life when it comes to my people. I personally think truth, rights, and justice should prevail. Now I watched this video, and all I saw was Mr. Vegas yes i'm not into the habit of even calling out anyone no really that's not my thing i'm about truth rights and justice but guess what where the cap fit today i'm gonna call it like it is i'm gonna call a spade a spade what i saw was nothing short of being a coon what i saw was nothing short of being a kiss up what i saw was nothing short of being an uncle tom what i saw was plantation when the master is sick, you know what we say? Master, are we sick? Are we sick? There's a difference between the house slave and the field slave. When there's a fire, the house slave tries best to put out that fire. But when there's a fire and the field slave think of how we could pray to the Almighty God to burn that house down, we pray for the house to burn down. Now again, I'm not advocating violence on these Chinese women, but we should hit them in the pocketbook. Just like you said, Mr. Vegas, hit them in the pocketbook where it hurts. That store should never exist as far as I'm concerned. After that lady, that, that, that woman put her hand on one of her Jamaican citizens. Mr. Vegas, you came out in about two or three episodes and I watched you and I said, yes, Yes, I'm going to rally behind Mr. Vegas and I'm going to give Mr. Vegas my support. Yes, I'm going to support him 150%. But Mr. Vegas, you make me feel bad. You make my heart hurt. You make my stomach turn to see that you, a national figure, a man who's been there, a man who come from the ghetto, a man who understands what it is for brutality to take place, and you, Mr. Vegas, instead of offering some hope for our Jamaican people, you make us look bad. As far as I'm concerned, my brother, I'm not with you with this one. I'm not with you with this one, Mr. Vegas. And it's nothing personal against you with me. I know you from you as a little kid. 
I know you growing up in Akiwap when you used to come over by Percy Yard and play on the sound Echo Rock. So Mr. Vegas, come on now. What you did was short of being, man, I, I can't understand. How could you do this? It's better for you to stay your ass back in Kingston instead of you going all the way down there to show us that we're nothing but a bunch of kiss asses. I don't kiss ass, brother. I call a spade a spade. And Mr. Vegas, what you did, to me, you further, you further humiliated that little girl by bringing her back into the same store she was slapped in her face to accept an apology. You actually have to tell the woman what to say. She don't even know what to say. You, you can see that apology was just as fake as that slap that she put on that little girl. Mr. Vegas, I'm shame of you, my brother. I'm totally shame of your actions. I don't know what happened to you. The God that you serve is not the God that I serve, brother. The God that I serve is a God of vengeance. The God that I serve is a God of vengeance. The God that I serve is a serious God. If you mess with his people, it will cost you out. As far as I'm concerned. Man, I'm so upset. I don't even want to prolong this video. But I'm just letting the world know that me, as a revolutionary, me, as an activist, me, as a man who's been there on the front line, doing all kind of work to uplift and motivate our people, your action did not motivate our people, Mr. Vegas. Your action demoted our people. Your action tell us that it's okay to be slapped in your face as someone of the guts to come forward or forced to come forward and apologize. This apology would have been accepted if the woman on her own came forth and said, listen, what I did was wrong, Jamaica, I want to publicly apologize to you. Then I possibly would think of accepting an apology, but to just see that you who talk so big and mighty and powerful, the great Vegas. The great Vegas that have fans all over the world who speak so powerful about going down and make sure we lock down that store. You make my blood curl, my brother, and you make my stomach turn. Mr. Vegas, I'm looking at you secondly from now on. Ladies and gentlemen, that's just my take on it. You all have a good day. Come on, Mr.